My name is Cato on the track. I'm a music producer, entrepreneur, musician, um, influencer. <laughs> I've worked with Grammy nominated, multi platinum artists like Tyga, Joyner Lucas, Wu Tang Clan, Snoop Dogg, E40, Too Short, Ice Cube. This goes on, man. And uh, just very blessed. Yeah, so I didn't do any of those things. <laughs> Can't turn back no more. Raw dog fucking on the bathroom flow. 28 subs, turn a bitch up to the pink, get peel like ass. Tough for the nails, got elephant bones. Oh, Somebody got stabbed. This. America. Two days, played 36 hours at Apex Legends, <laughs> and then flew right here. Professional musician, singer, songwriter, and rapper at times. Why is that important? It's not. It's, it's not, not important. important. So I'm in Sherman House. Nice. Yeah. I used to live around there. Yeah. I used to live off uh, Reseda, like north of Tarzan, like right, right okay. above the fucking 101. I got a little recording set up in here too. Love it. Yeah, hey, that was excellent. I could turn my white on too. I could do my cracks in. I don't really know who the fuck I am, like I'm Michael Jackson. What the fuck you mean by that? Then? Is you black or white a zebra? Now brown kid snapped to fit the feature. Got rats for the life of real chameleon. I'm not back for real. I don't want deals unless it's a half, and I mean a half a mil. I walk away from all of this shit like I really am Chappelle. I'm bigger than this, I'm bigger than that, like I really am Shaquille. Yeah, you do the math, I see how it changes. Well, he's one of the first uh, Korean producers to really be out here doing it. So that that part's important, right? And I'm born on Christmas. Born on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's Korean Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Ooh. Immaculate. Back to the vibes. That's for my ops, gravestones. That's the box I piss in. Never mind now. I take it back. It don't even matter. Pissing. I just go past the way like I'm on that Sega shit. Uh, I'm trying to play this ball like I'm on that Vegas shit. Alright, whatever. Let's make some shit we do. Something that hips and hops. <laughs> Something that hippity hops. Yeah. I almost feel like y'all need to do that. How do y'all feel about this one? That's Kevin Durant money. So actually that would be there would be two two lines in there. I got high end brand money like there's like one missing. Oh, there's one more. 
There's one missing. The missing bar. Would it, would it be corny if we repeated? No. The Durant line? Like, no. higher energy? No, yeah, that'd be money. Yeah. She got only fans money. I, I need high end brand money. Yeah, that's Kevin Durant money. That, that's Kevin Durant money. Then we go back to back to back. The secret enlighten me. Please. The shark in your circle don't frighten me. Fish out of water, they wait for a dollar to pounce some over and bite me. All of us coated in sugar, you cavity ridden. That's the reality with it. Only a few that'll come to my mind when I'm thinking of dudes who are yeah. actually spitting. Is that we in business? I'm finna snap on a lot like I'm Dasher and Dancer and Vixen. Rapping and gifted. How did, how did your, your Asian parents feel about the rap? Lucky for me, I was never good in school. So I don't think their expectations were too high to begin with. So when I just started making music, there was like, oh, it's a phase. Like, he'll get over it. He'll find something else. But, you know, I didn't. <laughs> and it just kept going. I, I felt pretty embraced by the Atlanta hip-hop scene. This was like the underground scene. Knowing so then you get snow shoes in the van and like, fucking snow and it turns into brown mush and it's like gross. And who you tour with, like who you bring with you, might be one of the most important decisions that you make for the next like two months. It's like I always keep my, what was it, like Frank's Red Hot? Yeah. <laughs> it's like whatever barbecue sauce it was. I didn't see that. Yeah. It's like I always keep this with me and like, yeah, stop lying, you fucking lizard. <laughs> All right, fellas. Yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. So, of course, we have our own kind of perspective on what it means to be a quote-unquote outsider or not feel uh, accepted to a degree by the music industry. But also, you know, I feel like right now the current music environment that we're in, it's almost cooler. Yeah, for a long time I tried to run away from being brown, but I feel like it's like a superpower. Right. You know, if you look at it the right way. Right. He's not even, he's... <laughs> it's literally he's just, just a the trigger pad. pad. <laughs> <laughs> playing with an organ? Why does that go on? Yeah. Oh, that sounds nice. So, I was wondering if you could get your hands on an old TV. You t like, it, you know, it takes the fucking RCA plugs. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, I'm at Kato's house, so I do have to part. Hello? What's up, my guy? Oh, my God. That's <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? What up, man? It's a good day. It's a good day. Yeah. I'll be slots. No jokers? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Catching up on my fucking one. Only a year after I found out that he does this. Uh, did I find out that he also does porn? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. You know? She's bouncing off stems. Vocals. Dude, yeah. he's just so low key. And I feel like there's a lot of artists like that. Especially now, it's like a really niche industry. Yeah. Like you basically carve out your, you carve out your piece of the pie. Yeah. And it's a pretty, and the zip, it's a huge fucking pie. I almost have the same amount of monthly listeners as West Side Gun. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. It's, it's insane, right? And Conway. So it's like, it's only partially a numbers game. They deserve all the praise they get. They're just, they're really like, they're perfect branding and marketing wise. They're like the perfect. There's only a space for a few like real rappers every year in mainstream media like they don't give up too much of that space you know yeah. and every year like i know jordan lucas had a moment hobson had a moment and like here come these guys that aren't rapping too fast or trying to you know do any rapidity rap but are still really rapping so that's theirs now they own that yeah it was very reminiscent of like a style of hip-hop that was popular in the 90s yeah. but we hadn't really seen since because it all shifted to like trap music and yeah you know whatever's popular today 
Joey Badass had that moment with that same style. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there's always people rapping like that, even in Freddie the time Gibbs. that... Yeah, 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 Freddie Gibbs is one of my favorite rappers alive, but like, For sure. there's always people rapping like that that whole time up until Griselda came. But you wouldn't know them until unless you were like into rap. Mm, yeah. Because they didn't fit that perfect mold of like... I don't know, a lot of it is luck and a lot of it is timing. Do you ever find yourself like trying to fit a certain mold or like no, that, that's like, probably trap my biggest kind of? fucking weakness is that I don't. That's where all the the marketing is just if you could describe I'll be a nomad in one sense I'm like I'm not a fucking corporation, so I can't describe myself to you in one sentence. Yeah. So I don't know. Also I, I hate getting asked that question. Like, yeah. How would you describe your beats or your production? You try to elevator stuff? pitch like something you've been working on for three decades yeah i hate that question i can tell you what i'm about right now right like it like this week maybe <laughs> like what i'm fucking with like what i feel like i am this week yeah it changes all the time when i get asked that question i i pretty much i pretty much can only reference like the moments that people have seen publicly that they might know me for you know mm -hmm. like the the TikTok moments, the viral songs that I've had, and then kind of starting there. I feel like that's pretty much the only way that I can answer that question. Because I have like proof, I have like ideas of like what I'm trying to be, mm -hmm. but there's no proof of concept. Yeah. So then it just Hard feels like explain. you're just, yeah. It feels like you're just like shooting in the dark or whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, I feel like I'm like the bridge between hip hop and pop for a lot of people. I'm like, oh yeah, what makes you say that? I don't fucking know. I just made it up in my head. <laughs> what's up, Abby? What's, what's, what's up? This Abby, this is good. Black good. Guy. How you doing? Pleasure. Pleasure to meet yeah. you as well. Craziest yeah. dude on keys. Person <laughs> nasty. I uh, know. I'm all right. Yo, yeah, I tell people I'm all right all the time, and I'm pretty fucking good. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I'm cold, but you know, yeah. Love that. Love that. Walk in one song going. Checking the bank already. Love it. Yeah. Love that shit. Come on, give me more. Love. He's not even, he's, <laughs> it's literally he's just, just a bad. Trigger bad. <laughs> he's playing with an organ. Why does that go hard? <laughs> that? I think the most important thing for me uh, in a song is really like, uh, honestly, it's the flow. When it comes to like rap songs, it's like, or even like songs where they're singing, I think the flow is like the most important thing for me, which explains a lot of it's my like, music taste. Yeah. Like if the, the, the voice is an instrument. It's know? gotta be in that pocket. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. an instrument. You have to treat it like a musical instrument. For me, it's got to be the bass. Either the, the 808, that low end is what's going to get people up, get people like feeling, mm -hmm. it's going to give it that energy, you know. So I spend a lot of time just on my 808s, my bass lines, my kicks you know any low-end frequencies is like the key to getting people to move yeah.
Back when I was a teenager, one, two, G, like I was a B major. Hey, scared little bitch, I can't fade ya. Now I'll be the lights of them boys, like I'm playing Beat Saber. Bang, that's on my chest, Luke Kang. See me in DC, that man Bruce Wayne. All my shit heavy, I can't lose weight. Boy, put them titties away. Two chains, damn, he going Bobby Boucher. Who that wasabi, it's obvious name. My Krabby Patty, that recipe changed. We was all broke, but y'all stayed the same. No way. <laughs> That is actually pretty nasty. I don't want to think about my grandma. <laughs> it's got a pretty nasty <laughs> pop on it. I have in mind when I'm making a rap song. It's lobster. <laughs> okay. Like really nice lobster. Butter, you know. Maybe like a South African poached mm. lobster with, you know, butter. Really high class, elegant meal. And a, a open bag of uh, Cool Ranch Doritos on the side. Mm. Those two would hit if you think about it. Together? That shit would smack. Yeah, you're right. You're kinda right. Yeah. Cool Ranch Doritos, great compliment to any elegant meal. I'm gonna try that. Yeah. What's something really basic that just that just hits. slaps every time? Like an elevated grilled cheese. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Like, uh, yes, an elevated grilled cheese on some fancy bread using some fancy cheese, like, yeah. with some nice, you know, maybe butter. Yeah. Some grass fed butter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's how I describe my beats. Okay. Like that that's the whole purpose behind this project is that um is get more ears. Yeah, just get more ears on our shit. And get new ears. Yeah. So go listen to it. Yeah. And if you don't like it then fuck you. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah.